What's going on guys? It's Alexa back with another video and today I wanted to bring you guys a slightly different type of video. Um, I have a few uh, technical questions for you guys and I'm hoping that you'd be able to help me out with some answers. So obviously here I am in my room doing my part, staying quarantined, uh, trying to stay away from people and everything because we all know what's going around. So um, in the meantime, I have been experiencing a few issues with my laptop. So um, I'm going to ask you guys for a little bit of information for you guys that are tech savvy and uh, maybe give me some direction on that. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So here we are. Um, this is my laptop that I use. Um, if you guys don't know, I've had this laptop since I want to say 2014. So it's now 2020. So this laptop is at least six years old. And um, it's gotten me through college. <laughs> it's gotten me through a couple part time jobs. And um, obviously, it's gotten me through my YouTube career so far. Anyways, um, for the most part, it's doing a pretty decent job. However, lately I've been having this issue. I wouldn't even say it's a new issue. I've been having this issue for a while. Unfortunately, the lap, the Wi-Fi inside of this laptop will randomly disconnect. Now I know it's not my router because we have multiple devices that are connected to the Wi-Fi and none of those other devices have dropout issues with their Wi-Fi signal, just my laptop because when my Wi-Fi goes out on here, I'll maybe check my phone to see if my phone is still connected. The phone is still connected, so I'm just like, hmm, why is this disconnecting? Um, so I researched it, and they said it is probably your Wi-Fi card in your laptop going out. So I'm like, hmm. So I need basically a new Wi-Fi card. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. I have to look at basically the model number of my laptop I find it on the bottom here this is a Asus X555L that's the model number here don't mind me I was watching uh, Judah's Garage doing some uh, drifting and stuff like that with some of his friends they should be social distancing but anyways <laughs> either way that was kind of off topic but uh, this is the same guy that ended up buying a uh, tall guy car reviews old Hellcat and restored it. So that's how I ended up finding a uh, Juju's Garage uh, channel. So if you guys like watching wild stuff that he's doing in rebuild, you can go check out his channel. But anyways, um, I find the model number on the bottom of here, and it's like I said, it's an Asus X555L. So when I researched Wi-Fi card for that particular model. For some reason I had issues uh, finding one or finding one from a legit website. There are a lot of ones um, that look, I don't know, they just they just don't look very trustworthy. So I don't like um, ordering from just random websites that come up. So I don't want to do that. Checked on Amazon. I only saw like one type and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is not going to fit my laptop. So I decided, let me make sure I have the exact correct Wi-Fi card before I order one. So the other night, I went ahead and opened up my laptop by taking out the screws on the outside and basically separated the backing from the, uh, I guess from the keypad. So that way I could access the motherboard and all the inside components. So. Finally, I was able to locate where the Wi-Fi card was because I kind of knew what it looked like. The problem is with this particular model, it's under several different panels. I wish I had recorded this while I had it open so I could actually show you guys what I'm talking about, but there's so many other layers on top of the Wi-Fi card and I'm not a tech savvy person. As you guys know, um, I do a little bit of mechanical stuff here and there, but when it comes to technology and stuff I try to be really careful with that stuff or I let a professional handle it I've never taken apart a computer and I'm not saying I would be afraid to learn but this is my only laptop that I have so I would experiment on maybe something else so I don't feel comfortable 
trying to change the Wi-Fi card on here. So what I want to ask you guys is, do you think that if, I guess if it, if it was your situation, would you A, get a new laptop and say screw it, even though that would take a little bit of adjusting because obviously I have a lot of programs on here and a lot of personal data on here that I would like to keep. So getting a new laptop will be a little more difficult. Second option, would you change the Wi-Fi card yourself and maybe order from a website that you're not familiar with? If you know for a fact that's the Wi-Fi card that you need. Or option number three, would you call, I don't know, Best Buy or uh, Office Max, some, some tech company that will do repair work on your laptop. I did buy this from Best Buy and I'm, I feel like I have a Geek Squad membership. I need to check. But um, would you take this to them, get a price and say, uh, you know, this is, the, this is the problem that I'm having. I need a new Wi-Fi card. How much are you guys gonna charge for one, to order the card to make sure it fits this exact model and two, how much for the install and everything. Now, I have no idea how much an install would be for um, a Wi-Fi card on any laptop, honestly. Um, this one in particular, so I just don't know. Um, this is also my background. I love tigers. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna talk about Tiger King. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> I'm not ashamed, but um, yeah. So Intel Core i3, I don't know if you guys need to see exactly this is what everything looks like. I'll even show you guys the back so you can get all of that information. I don't know. If you guys know anyone that could possibly work on this or some something that could like go with this particular laptop model because I'm just, I don't know, I'm just having a hard time deciding what I should do. One, I'm not trying to waste money. Two, obviously I don't want to do the hardest choice. And like I said, this laptop is not perfect. It is a little slow and you know, but either way, it it does what I need it to do. I have my editing software on here. So I'm like, dang, if I get a new laptop, does that mean I have to put my editing software on the new one? Or do I have to pay for a different membership for the editing software and stuff? So. It just gets a little more complicated the more I think about it, but I cannot tell you how many times the Wi-Fi drops out on this in a night. And it's been doing this for over a year, I feel like, and I've just been dealing with it, but now I'm sick of it. <laughs> Wonder why I'm sick of it? Because I'm in quarantine. <laughs> so whenever I'm like trying to watch YouTube videos or I'm trying to like play a game or something and just the Wi-Fi drops out, every time it does that, I have to restart this laptop. I have to wait for it, do all of that, and it's I'm I'm really tired of it, and I've been dealing with it for this long. So um, I need I need a new option. Um, a new laptop would be nice. I just don't know. It's like if I don't have to, then I don't want to. If this is still working, just fine. Yeah, I know we got the stimulus checks coming out and everything, but I'm trying to be responsible with that stimulus check. Um, I still have. You know, uh, potentially a move out to do. So I'm just like, if I don't have to spend that on luxury stuff, uh, then I won't. <laughs> so I'm trying to be responsible with that. So just let me know what you guys would do. Would you get a new laptop? Would you try to fix it yourself, or would you take it to, um, I guess, a tech repair shop and see what they would charge you? If I do that third option, I am gonna call around and get different estimates. I'm not just gonna automatically take it to Best Buy just because I bought it from them. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to see. Because like I said, this is something I've never done before. This is not my realm. I know um, I'm kinda in the science field, but this is tech. Science, tech, I know surface knowledge of technology. and This is a little more inside. I'm sure it's probably as simple as just knowing what screws to take out and knowing how to put stuff back. If I've worked on my vehicles before, technically, I should be able to do this. However, 
I just don't want to take any chances of messing up something and then I'm out of a laptop completely and then I end up having to buy a new one anyway. So I would just be mad at myself for that. Um, same thing with my vehicles. I'll do basic stuff. I change the brakes, change the oil, um, change headlights, stuff like that. Like, that's not major surgery. When it comes to other stuff, no. I'll take it somewhere. So um, that's just how I am with certain things if I'm not skilled or I guess if I don't have a lot of knowledge on that particular subject I would rather take it to someone that is more skilled and more versed in that particular area so just to cross all my T's and dot all my I's so yeah that's the question I have for you guys um, like I said it's already been a while that uh, I've, I haven't posted a video because you know <laughs> so like I said I am still working but um, I actually took this week off because it's my birthday not today but <laughs> it's this week so um, believe it or not I will be 29 I don't look it at all but i um, definitely not complaining about that so yeah um, my birthday is this week I'll be 29 and um, if you guys would love to do me a birthday favor <laughs> is just like this video and after you like this video please go and watch some of my older videos and you know it, the typical watch the ads if you can I would really 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 appreciate you guys for that um, I really hope you guys are staying safe washing your hands wearing your face mask um, not hoarding groceries please don't be that person please don't hoard there are people out here that really need this stuff um, and yeah I hope we're able to get back to some sense of normal see soon because this is just a weird time for everyone so um yeah and i think with this time off i am going to try to record another video hopefully tomorrow because there's nothing else to do and it's, it should be a nice day tomorrow i changed my camaro oil not too long ago but i already made a video about that last year so if you want to know how to change camaro oil go check out my last video camaro ss 2010 model there's that so yeah tech people what would you do about this laptop? Wi-Fi card is driving me crazy. I'm tired of my Wi-Fi dropping out every, I don't know, it's random when it happens. It's like, it'll be an hour, it's fine, and then it'll drop. Restart. 20 minutes go by, it'll drop. Restart. Three hours go by, it'll drop. So, there's no pattern to this, and I don't like irregularity, so. Let me know what you guys would do. Um, thank you guys for your input. And like I said, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like. Check out some of my older videos. There's plenty for you guys to watch. And um, I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching this. Continue to stay safe. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.